I haven't walked away from anything. Uh, and inflation is my greatest concern because of how it's affected my, my state, people in my state, and all over this country. I mean, Democrats are saying you sabotage the Biden agenda. What do you say to that? Well, you know what? I've been around for a long time. People say things sometimes that it might not mean, and I don't take it personal. Dude, you got played by Manchin again? Hey, friends, Dr. Abdul, I'll say it here. I don't know if you all have been watching this, but Joe Manchin just put the kibosh on yet another legislative package that President Biden was counting on. This coming after just a year ago when he destroyed Biden's Build Back Better package. That would have included everything from extending the child tax credit for, you know, low-income people in places like low-income West Virginia. It would have expanded universal child care to everyone, making sure that one of the most important and challenging payments that people have to make every single month just because they had kids, that goes away. It allows millions of women into the workforce in ways that they just can't afford right now. And, of course, there was the climate legislation, which, given the fact that Joe Manchin is a coal baron from West Virginia, you knew he was going to oppose. But then he went and did it again. This in a moment where the president of the United States, you know, the leader of the Democratic Party, only has 37% approval. He is way underwater. The president needed this. But instead, Manchin announced that he was no longer willing to support either climate legislation or a basic international minimum tax. So today, I want to walk through the three things you need to understand about why Joe Manchin absolutely sucks. Number one, Joe Manchin is destroying an international plan that Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has worked with 130 country leaders to put together. To explain what this does, it establishes a minimum 15% tax for any corporation anywhere in the world, and it taxes companies in accordance with where they sell their products rather than where they're ostensibly housed. To understand why this is so important, remember that companies like Google and Facebook and Apple, in theory, are in Ireland, despite the fact that they do most of their business, obviously, here in the United States. Why? Well, Ireland has a lower corporate tax rate. And so their accountants and their lawyers put together papers that say that they're based in Ireland. All of this is about tax avoidance. And that tax avoidance, that's money that could go into places like, well, West Virginia, the poorest state in the country. But instead, Joe Manchin, always an apologist for corporations, has said, that he can't get behind the plan, destroying an agreement that the United States has led and gotten 130 countries, including Ireland, to sign on to. This does no good for anyone in the United States. The only people who benefit from this are folks who hold huge amounts of stock in companies like Apple, Facebook, and Google. Here, Joe Manchin is putting the interests of corporations ahead of the interests of West Virginians every single day. Number two, Joe Manchin tells us that he can't support this climate package or this tax increase because inflation. Well, we've talked a lot about inflation here. Inflation is when there's too much money chasing too few goods. The too few goods part, that's all about the pandemic and the ways that it's destroyed supply chains, whether for durable goods back in 2021 or for services like flights or hotel rooms here in 2022. But the too much money part, people like Manchin think that's because government is handing out too much money. No, it's because there's too much money flowing at the upper echelon of the economy. Think about it. We've had massive inequality growth over the past three years, over the past three decades. So the bulk of the money in the economy sits at the very top. So if you really wanted to do something about inflation, maybe you'd want less money sitting at the top of the economy. And oh, by the way, the best way to do that is to tax corporations and rich people, which is exactly what Joe Manchin is walking away from. Right now, instead, we've got monetary policy. The Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, but that's a really blunt tool and it tends to affect the poorest people worst. When interest rates go up, the cost for borrowing money also goes up. So people are priced out of things like mortgages or auto loans or student loans. Here's the other part of it though. If you're so worried about inflation, the way that that hits people is that the cost of living go up. So maybe just maybe it'd be a good idea to take some of that cost of living off of people's plates in say, you know, the form of universal child care or a child tax credit, which just gives you money because you have kids if you're a low-income person in a state like, say, West Virginia. But no, Manchin doesn't give a damn about inflation. He never did. He never will. Manchin cares about making sure that his corporate donors stay happy. And that's exactly what he's done. Number three, this is a disaster for any effort to take on the climate crisis. Take a look at this video. It was shot on a cell phone inside a train in Spain. What's he doing?
all of this is because we're experiencing record high temperatures. And it's not just Spain. It's the UK. It's not just Europe. It's the United States. It's happening everywhere. And look, I know climate isn't just weather, but when the weather gets hotter and hotter every single summer, you got to stop and wonder whether or not there's something we should do about it. Well, President Biden has said that he wants to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2030. But the way to do that is to pass legislation to get it done. And guess what? Coal Baron, Joe Manchin, has put the gabosh on that too. And you knew he was going to. I mean, this is a man whose personal fortune that allows him to drive around Washington, D.C. in a Maserati. That comes from the fact that he's built a coal brokerage firm, literally selling coal to people. And if you're Joe Manchin and you want to keep your money, the best single thing you can do is, well, make sure that there's not climate legislation that invests in renewable energy so that your product continues to be bought and sold at the same rates that it's bought and sold now. But there's an upshot here. This is terrible for the Democratic Party. Terrible. I already told you, President Biden, he's got a 37% approval rating. To put that in perspective, that's lower than where President Trump was at this time in his term. And all that is being driven by the notion that he can't get things done. Well, it's really hard to get things done when people in your own party won't play ball on the most obvious things that people in your party want. Joe Manchin, he enjoys a 69% approval rating in dark red West Virginia. And he's earned that by smacking Joe Biden in the face over and over again. When it comes to climate legislation, people demand action. 79% of Democrats approve of Joe Biden's climate plan, but 61% of them actually want him to get it done. In fact, when you talk to young people, people under the age of 30, that jumps to 73%. They want him to be doing more on climate. But that's almost impossible to do when Joe Manchin is single-handedly blocking you from doing it. But here's the problem. We've got elections coming up in 2022 and again in 2024. And with the president this far underwater, it's becoming harder and harder to imagine a world where Democrats actually retain any power. And we know it's on the other side. We're watching that play out in the January 6th hearings every single week. But in order for young people, who I know everyone says young people don't vote, but they don't vote when you don't do anything about what they're voting for. Young people voted in record numbers to support Joe Biden to beat Donald Trump in 2020. They are a critical constituency. And right now they're looking at the outcomes of the election and wondering why they came out to vote in the first place. And the worry that I have is that Joe Manchin is single-handedly demobilizing people under the age of 35. People who are looking and asking, what are you doing to actually take on the existential crisis of our time? And they're seeing nothing. So here's what I wanna see. Biden administration, if you're listening, you need to put up a fight. And look, to their credit, they proposed a state of emergency on climate. That's great. But I also want to see Joe Biden take Joe Manchin to the woodshed. Point fingers, name names, lay down the blame. Let folks know that they need to come out to make Joe Manchin's vote obsolete. And then, for God's sake, stop getting played by the man. He's not here to play ball. Don't promise things he won't deliver. The fire in Spain is not putting out... <laughs> doesn't get put out by the rain. All right. Um, 